So that WWE return, who gets in contact with you about bringing you back? Because you were one of the names that we heard at that time, along with like Shelton Benjamin and a couple others, when they were like, we got to bolster these rosters because we're splitting them up. Who who gets in touch with you about that? Yeah, I think that's all it was. They 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 decided to split the rosters to that draft. And I thought they needed more bodies. And I guess what they decided is that they didn't want, they wanted people that knew what they were doing, how to work mm-hmm. WWE style, television style. You know, they wanted guys who could just be thrown on TV like the next day. So they compiled a list. I heard they put it in front of Vince and Vince handpicked the names off of that he, he wanted. And I was one of them. So uh, Mark Carano called me and offered me the job. And again, I mean, you, you've got, several instances of this where Vince is hand picking you for things like somewhere along the lines in my first run, I had a match and I don't know who or when it was, but Vince like soaked it in. And what he got out of it is that Kurt Hawkins is a really good hand. Like he's great at what he does. Like he can make other people look great. Something along that, those lines, which is a, a good and bad thing for sure. Like, I don't think he saw me as this like Roman Reigns megastar, but he saw me as someone that knew what he was doing, that he could trust, you know, that that wasn't selfish. And and there's a lot to that. I, I take pride in that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and it got me an insane amount of opportunities, you know, training with The Rock or things like this, or even getting this job, you know, the second time around, whatever, or being a producer, you know. So I, I'm not upset by it by any means, yeah. but that, that's certainly what happened in some capacity. <laughs> 